weekly CHAC. Not sure how much long I'm going to do these, but this because this is just showing pretty much what I'm doing. But, you know, I know that there's a lot of the legends that like to see exactly what's going on and how I'm doing it for my financial legacy, you know, doing what I'm doing. All right, let's engage. So the first one, let's go ahead and do my claim. As you can see, this one is maxed. Let's go ahead and get it on. I'm going to, for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it at three for the gas. Normally, I would put one in there. And then I don't care how long it takes. I just keep on go do my other videos or whatever, come back and keep on moving. All right, see, but it makes it nice and quick for the video's sake. So let's go ahead and relocate. Like I said, there's no um, dizzy drip over here, if you want to call it that. So we're going to continue here. The drip has to have a job. Oh, come on. It has to be earning the 1% each and every single day. I don't even want it laying there a week. It's a waste of time. Two weeks, it's a waste of time. Even one day, it's a waste of time that you didn't get the 1% on your your uh, dividends. All right. Okay. Let's get that one on. Okay, so that's being sent. Now let's go over to the Gardon. Where are we at here? Okay, so this this one, this farm goes with the first wallet. Of course, like I said, I'm just waiting for this last little bit of the piggies here so I can relocate them to the other pig pen so he can join the rest of the family. Uh, this one with the 14 piggy banks. I have my one big piggy bank that I'm maintaining, and this one still has that 700-day one, <laughs> 693 days. So ooh, it's a long time. Okay, I'll go ahead and compound that. Okay, took care of that. Dog pound is empty here. They already have been relocated to the new pound. And so over here, we got the garden. Now, this is my big garden. We are sitting at 10 billion plants. I have 13 LPs. So I'm going to just keep growing and growing and growing until we get the launch of DDD and, of course, the UI and everything. And then at that point, since I have seven gardeners, I'll figure out my strategy. More than likely, I'm just going to pull one a day from each of the gardens. So like garden one would be on Monday, so on and so on. Garden two on Tuesday, garden three on Wednesday. So do a six in one to, you know, in order to ROI, which pretty much I have because it's been a long time. Now it's just been a matter of compounding. All right, so let's max out. How many are we going to get? We're going to get another 800 and 43 million. Ooh, we're getting close to 11 billion here. So between now and the first, depending on what date we get for the launch, I'm going to try and hit anywhere between 12 and 13 billion. We'll see. Okay, that takes care of that. And we're going to get 10, almost 10, 9. Come on. Just waiting for it to correct anytime. All right, let's go, let's go back here. Check the airdrop is complete. All right, move it to here. Let's go back to the Godon. I don't know why it's taking so long to swap over. Let's make sure that we went through. Error fetching the data. What happened? Let me just do a refresh. Make sure we are good here. Because it should have went through. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on. None of the information is populating. I was thinking up here. Okay. All right, we're now going to hold the video up. So let's move on to the next wallet. Not too concerned about the garden. All right, so now from this one, this one is maxed as well. So we're going to do our claim here. And... that there boom 
good. All right. Take that. All right, we get that in there. Good with that. Now, let's go over to this garden. So this one has 1 billion. So I hit my goal of 1 billion for each of the other five gardens. So, so we're doing, doing what I got to do. So between now and the first, I guess, probably going to try and hit 2 billion, give or take. If I can do that as a goal. This one doesn't have anything else. It's just the drip, the faucet in the garden. Go back here. Make sure we went through. Airdrop is complete. All right, but you're good to go there. So what I'll probably do from now on is just do the one wallet just to make sure the video's not so long. Okay, we're good there. We're good here. Max that out, 358 million. We're gonna take that. That's gonna put us at one point. 5 billion yeah so we should be able to hit 2 billion in each of the other five wallets between now and the first of june that's the next goal okay we don't get it there like i said this one don't have any pig pen or anything in this one this is just yeah it's just empty i didn't have no piggy bank Yep, no dog. Some of my plants are good. Let's check them out. Yep, so almost at 1.6 billion. All right. So now we're just going to skip to the, I'm not going to go through all the, the middle wallets because all of those are just going to be hydrate as well as compound the gardens. So in this one here, this is the one that I'm working on now. As you can see, we're at 22,383. We got 210 here. Let's go ahead and compound. So we're getting closer and closer. This one, my goal is to be done by the first of the month as well. So staying on track. You know, like I said, you know the legends, we stay ready. So we'll have time to get ready. All right, so we're going to put this on, put it at almost 22,6. This one has a nice claim. The claim is only at like 9,000. So this one's looking good. All right. 22,585. Let's go to this is the second biggest garden here at 6 billion. We have $15 or 8.293. So now the goal is, of course, once the drip price starts going back up, then the LP's price should start going back up. Then this is going to look really, really nice. Even if it's what? $30, $40 a day, $50 a day. That's going to be, whew, that's going to be nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do what we got to do here. So we have $6 billion. So we would have got $408 million. So it's going to probably put us at almost 6.6. 6.7 billion so this one should be at 7 billion before the first if not closer to 8 billion we got a yeah probably seven and a half billion all right how many can we get out of here 500 yes yeah, so it's gonna put us at almost 5.7 billion that's what i'm talking about All right, so this should have gone through. I had to do some accumulating today as well. So let's go ahead and go through the farm. I, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so let's start with the pig pen. Let's see what we have here. We got the 50 pigs. I'm not withdrawing the pigs. I'm going to claim my BUSD and compound a little bit of pigs. This is only paying out, I think, 0.1 cent a day right now. 
So it's not doing as great as it was, but the anticipation is that it's going to pick up once we get Piggy Plinko online and all the other things in succession that the mastermind has for the animal farm. So all you can do now is just get yourself in the proper space or excuse me, the proper place as well and be ready. Okay, so we did that. And then let's go over here to the piggy bank. Let's check the piggy bank here. This is my one big bank, 366. Go ahead and compound. Okay. All right, then let's go over to the dog pound. So what I want to do is even out my dogs here. So we're going to get some more doggies. So... So my linear pool, the linear pool is the one that's making all the money right now. Definitely more than the auto compound. Okay, we'll just wait for it to populate. Okay, so we got 86, so I'm going to even it to 100. That's what's down here. We got $4. Yeah, so it's not doing too bad, give or take. Well, I'm going to go ahead and even it out here. So we're going to go ahead and swap for some dogs. So I need 14. How many I'm going to get? Yep, 14 and a half. Let's get those. Swap. We'll throw them into the linear. Because now we're also anticipating B and B going up. Now, when we first received drip from the mastermind, when I purchased back in April of 2021, the drip tokens were over $600 a piece. So them sitting at $300 now is nothing. That's half of where they used to be. So, and a lot of folks are thinking that it's going to go past a thousand come the next bull run. So of course, if I have something that can generate me B and B, <laughs> I'm going to take it. Definitely. All right. So now let's go back over here to the pound. And let's let it, let it populate here. We'll scroll down. We should have our 14. Yep, we got our 14 right there. So let's make sure we click linear, max, and put it in there. So this will round it off to an even 100. And I think that's all I'm going to do for a while in the garden. I don't even think I'm going to pick up any more pigs. But like I said, you got to do what you got to do for you. You have your strategy. You have your system. And you have your goals. So whatever you have decided, that's what you got to do. Do what you need to do to ensure that you're ready. Because like I said, when Piggy Plinko come and if it does anything, just a portion of way the mastermind is saying it's going to be big for the animal farm, for the dogs, the pigs, it's, it's going to be crazy. Because we can see up here with the prices right now, the pigs are $34 a pig and the dogs are five sixty five. dollars So even if dogs just go back to $50, that's going to be great. I'm, I'm not going to complain at all. All right, so let's go back up here. We should even out. Exactly. So it actually pulled that money. I don't know why it does that. Whenever you add some in there, it always pulls it out. And the claimable pigs here. So we still got, what, $5 in there? So I'll probably pull that out, a little $4. And four, I'm just going to just let that accumulate. I'm not even going to mess with that. All right, so we did that. And I think that was it. I don't have nothing in the swap and the garden. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you the legends that I didn't want to accumulate those. I meant to do it on the first video part. So in the end, we're almost at seven billion in the garden. All right, so we're doing what we're doing, just farming away. All right, so can't complain here. I don't know if I'm gonna. Mm, the pigs are just. Ooh, they are cheap. Now, them getting back up there to the crazy price, I don't know. And it's not so much as getting the crazy price. It's just having all the funds that are generated from the Piggy Plinko going to the vault. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not so concerned about the pig going from $34 back to $340. It's just what we're going to be earning every day. Because if we're earning a dollar per pig per day, it's irrelevant of the price because you're not going to sell your pigs. So that's, that's what you have to look at. Cause I know I'm not going to sell the pigs. So if I can, I'd rather just have a dollar a day or $2 a day, $2 a day is going to give me a hundred dollars a day 
out of the um, pig pen alone, not even counting the dog pound, the, the linear pool or the um, auto compounding pool. So that's what I'm just saying. So legends, you know, you got to sit there, you got to do your strategy. You need to sit there and analyze. Don't be getting analysis paralysis. Like I say, you just, you know, look at your numbers, figure out what you want. What's your monetary goal per day, per week, per month, figure out what you need to do. Cause like I'm saying right now, it's only paying out a penny per pig. So even if you got 3000 pigs, <laughs> you're making a whole $30 a day. So it's not the same. So that's what I'm saying. Let me make sure that I calculated that right. So yes, 3,000 pigs times a whole penny. Exactly, $30 a day. Now that's not the same as that having 3,000 pigs and it's making $2 a day. That's, that's what I'm looking at. That's my focus. Is that price per pig per day going back up? Because I know even at one point we were getting like 19 cents so even 3,000 tokens at 0.19 cent. That's, look at that. That's crazy. That's a hell of a difference from $30. That's just 19 cent. So even, so like I said, my goal, of course, is if we can get up to even a dollar, I'll take a dollar. If we get a dollar per pig, that's $50 a day or $35 or $1,500 a month. That's not bad at all. Just That's just one stream of income from the farm. If you watch the MPs, you know that there's multiple streams of income coming from the farm. So all you can do, Legends, is get ready. Now, also, if you saw the video yesterday morning that came out on my drip.network, I'm still trying to figure out, so I, I have them up here for the three wa different wallets. And I'm looking at the price. I'm not sure how it's calculating the price down see because that's the that's my first wallet there but down here my first wallet they're saying it was 48 cents i'm not sure how i can calculate 48 cents because when i created that first wallet when drip first opened it was three dollars a drip and so i don't know how it could be 48 cents I, I don't know where the numbers come from it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me because, I mean, I purchased some at the end when Drip got down to a dollar and fifteen cent. Maybe that, maybe averaged it out. I don't know. Whatever it is. So it's this one is saying forty eight cent. My other wallet is saying, okay, oh, it finally populated. It is saying thirty four dollars and twenty six cents per Drip. I don't. Okay, <laughs> then the one that's almost max. The third one is saying four dollars and fifty cent. So I don't know. Then it shows your average fees. So like I say, and like I said in the video yesterday, that it has a lot of information here. A lot of the legends like to know these kind of numbers. So these are the numbers that you want. You know, it tells you how much drip you purchased, the average price fees uh, this is i'm assuming this is only one day's worth of fees but then how many days left to max out and all that kind of good information all right so we got all of that let's go back over here oh we can go to the garden just waiting for it to buy successful so we should be at one point about 6.7 give or take all right legend so what i'm going to do i'm going to continue to hydrate the other faucets and, the, and compound the other gardens. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing it with me. And as always, this is for informational and educational purposes only. This is never intended at this time of financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. I'm just here providing some edutainment. That is all. No more, no less. And all I ask is that you please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And again, thank you for your time and to all of my legends. Engage.